And guys, we're going straight into the action. We got TP on your screen. Complexity versus Envy. Game number three of the Scuff Gaming Showdown. This is going to be Warhawk Blitz. And we're kicking things off here with Complexity. They're up 2-0 in the series. Aix and friends looking to make it 3-0. And at the start, Aix just doing work with this Remington. is going to be pushing up on the right side. Meanwhile, Envy, they tried to make a push on the left side. And they were immediately stopped. Look at the kill feed here in the upper right. Two kills per player. Aix, Krim, Karma, and TP all winning their slaying battles early on. Yeah, and I mean, Blitz is... It's extremely important to win these slaying battles. If you're able to just outslay the other team and just keep that aggression on, that's how you win Blitz. A lot of teams, they play loaded up on D. I think the way to win Blitz is just really be super aggressive and just ramp up the pace to where the other team really has no choice but to play defense. And we got Krim on your screen right now. Has one player to beat before he can go in. Cannot get the kill. Eggs, of course, still hanging out in the middle. He's just camping the base, to be honest. Does not want Envy to escape. Meanwhile, his teammate Karma pushing on the opposite side of the map. Trying to sneak by the shack is going to play middle support as well as Aix was just cleaned up after a 4-1 start. Krim, the other player, at 4-2 as TP is stopped. We're going to jump back on board with Krim. Can't get in. Let's go over to the Envy voice. And, and who do you think is going to be the player to watch from Envy? when it comes to Blitz. You know, Ray is definitely one of the players on Blitz who he is so sneaky. Right, right now you see How him sneaky? just pretty much in his base. Very sneaky. Like I the would very say, sneakiest? I would say so sneaky with like 12 O's in the so. so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> sneaky. sneaky. You know, you'll see time and time again where he'll see a player and he'll just let the guy walk right by and he's able to sneak into your base and get those caps and you know you're counting players out and you know Ray is up somewhere but you just can't find him. Well Ray was taken down and while I was going uh oh, oh, oh TP was able to sneak in for a cap of his own and it looks like Karma is now going to be the next closest player in position to make a cap. Gunjar on your screen running down the middle street. Ray trying to make a push out of his base, but let's go on board with Karma here from Complexity. Merc is gonna have to play some serious D. He picked up one, Karma knows where he's at. Karma gets the kill, and will he be able to sneak in as more shots are being fired, will not be able to connect. Everyone knows his location. He's totally gonna have to fight his way in here. Yeah, and I mean, it was a great play by Gunjar. He's able to see Karma from a while, from a far away, and he knows he wasn't gonna be able to fight him with that AR, and you know, Karma right now is just sitting on top of their 18-wheeler, just slaying in their base. You know, that's a not a bad play because then it forces the other team to rotate all the way back, and they have to get that guy out of their base. Yeah, I just did a quick swap through all players, though, and the closest pushed up is Teep on Middle Street. I don't see a cap coming anytime soon. Very good defense from both squads, and you're currently watching Proofy and Gunjar. Tell me what Envy's up to here. I mean, right now you see Gunjar, he's just going to run straight down the mid street. He's going to pick off TP, and you know, it looks like he has a clean, s clean sweep for the complexity goal, but he's going to get taken out by Krim from behind, but it looks like two uh, Envy members are going to be pushed up on this left. It looks like Proofy's going to go into top three story, and Ray is going to try and work around the back for a cap. Nice defense from TP and friends. Ray gets in, but won't go through the blitz, and he will be taken down. Meanwhile, it looks like Proofy and Gunjar were able to score. The score currently 2-1 in favor of Envious. And it looks like Proofy starting to heat up at 11 and 6 with that one kill, or with that one cap, has the most kills in the game. Yeah, and I mean, you know, Proofy's just playing full defense right now, but he needs to go back to his goal. You know, you see Envy, they're spawning over at Cafe, so they got to know Complexi is pushing over from this right side. And he's got one on the mid tank. That's two down. He's got a guy behind him. Is he going to do it to him? Oh. No, nah, he's not able to do that. That would have been a sick turn on. But, you know, right now, I don't like what I see out of Envy. You know, they're playing too much defense in their base. You see Proofy is going to spawn right on his goal, and Gunjar oh. is going to let Teep go right in. And that's the thing that we saw a lot on Black Ops 2, Puckett, where... You know, teams in CTF, they would kind of just play too much defense yeah. in their base, and you allow the other team to get so much map control, it locks you in. And, I mean, that's pretty much what we saw right there out of Envy. Yeah, I mean, it's great to play defense, but you got to do it pushed out of your base a little bit. I'd be yeah. much more comfortable if they were playing it from mid-street or if they were trying to push outside of their house, not staying around the 18-wheeler, which yeah. Envy was doing at the end. I mean, they see, got punished for it. Yeah, you see all four members of the Envy team, I mean, for the last 30 seconds have not left their base. 
Looks like the final push came from complexity. That was shut down without an issue, but the score tied 2-2. Remember, it was Proofy and Gunjar sneaking in at the start, but TP, he was able to get one for the very kickoff of the game and a second one with about 40 seconds left on the clock. So even at the half, we're going to switch sides, go at it one more time. And it looks like... Hit that spectator pocket. Uh, I'm too slow. We're watching no, all your team. No, now go, you, you sure? can hit start. Yeah, change team. Yep, yep. Yeah, there you go. Oh, my goodness. I did it. All right. I'm watching Mr. Cole's team. Who are you watching? The goon? I was watching the goon. You know, goon is able to pick up one at gate, another guy at the mid tank. And, you know, right there you see uh, trade right there. So it's two on two. It's going to be teep and aches. And it looked like it was uh, proof and ray up for envy. But now everybody spawned in. And see, here's where Ray's going to get sneaky. He's going to try and push on this right side, but I mean, Teep is able to snuff him out. And, you know, that's smart. that objective play out of Teep that I think separates us from every other team. Yeah, that's like a counter-objective player move right there. Yeah. You you have the feeling, you know someone is behind enemy lines, even with uh, their coach sitting next to me in the broadcast booth. Yeah. He has that intuition to check the base, gets the kill on Ray. In the meantime, it looks like Complexity is pushing forward. They just lost one player in Crim 6, but TP is going to be making the push. Now doubling back to this middle street. Will he be able to push his way all the way in? A nice light up again. It's going to be up to Rambo Ray to stop the push from TP. Let's switch you over to Complexity as TP is going to kill one more. There goes down Ray, and it's going to be, it looks like that's Karma pushing up. Actually, it's Crim. Crim and Karma from Complexity threatening to score. We're currently watching Gujar. Yeah, and I mean, you know, Rambo is in the base, and so is Merc. They're just playing total defense. And right now, you, I mean, if you're Envy, you need to push out because Complexity is going to know that you're going to be spawning on their flag. And as you see, they're able to take out three players. And, I mean, this is what I was talking about, Pucky. You can't play too much defense because, look, now Envy is going to get spawn trapped behind their base. Yeah, Gujar's got to take out TP. TP with the kill as we jump back on board with Complexity. Proofy was looking for everyone at his base, but they've already gone through. That was Teep going in once, Aches going in as well, as they are now up 4-2. Both caps from Complexity so far in this second half. Envy has their work cut out for them. They're out slaying their opponents, but they're not out capping them. And here comes Teep for a fifth cap, and there we go. Just like that, Complexity starting to run laps. Okay, so here's here's kind of the logic behind Blitz Pucket a little bit. Continue. So, Let's say, uh, let's use arguments, say complexity, envy, right? You're complexity, I'm envy. If I'm envy and I'm able to kill two of your guys, right? And then one of them goes through the goal, that's kind of like killing three because you know that other guy is going to spawn back. Yep. So instead of rotating back to your own goal when you kill two or three guys, let that one guy cap and push up and get that map control for a spawn trap. You're able to give up one goal if you're able to get three or four. And you saw sure. right there, you know, complexity is able to they just kind of run that train a little bit where they got three caps pretty easily because you know envy tried to rotate their players back and they weren't able to kind of get back towards the goal are you saying they just ran a train on envy is that <laughs> you know is that no, that's you the wording said? that's the wording I'm that i had to sure use pocket. <laughs> pocket you know you take everything oh man and put it into the best context love you mom thanks for watching yeah we got aches <laughs> on your screen doing work will we get them both it looks like proofy and merc will fall Still in a battle on the side, and he is still looking for a third player. His teammates trying to sneak in. It looks like some nice defense from Envy for the moment. Krim has to double back and play some D of his own. Will pick up one. Now rotates back to the middle street as it's going to be 7-3. Remember, we entered the half at 2-2. It has been all complexity in our first three and a half minutes on the second side. Yeah, and you know, Envy really needs to just kind of get near the goal and try and make a push. That They're down four goals with a minute and 20 seconds left. If it's going to get down bef below the 40-second mark, it's going to be mathematically impossible for them to come back bucket. Yeah, and look at this defensive st uh, setup here from complexity. You got Krim watching mid-street. You got Patty Cakes actually making his way back to the base again as he is going to stay aggressive. But the other three are just sitting home defending and he will not get through. Good news for Envy. They were able to cap twice while I've been talking. Let's jump back on board with this Envy squad. You're on board with Merc. And Merc with that Remington trying to work with Rambo to work their way into the complexity base. Yeah, and you know, right here. This is where uh, it becomes a just kind of a little bit of a dilemma for complexity. You know, you, if, do you play defense or do you just try and overextend and get caps? 
And I think the best way to play this is to just overextend and try and get caps because Envy can't afford to trade caps with you right now. And it's 6-7 I mean, after yeah. that one for Proofy. They and need Proofy just one more to tie it the up. Base. And, you know, right now, it looks like Complexity is going to have to overextend. They'll, they'll be willing to give up a cap to just get oh. another one back. And that's two down for Envy. And I don't know if we have anybody Look at that score, from man. Complexity they on the other side of the map near the Envy goal. I don't have that on my screen. No one over there yet. We The closest is Karma, and he's not going for the flag. So it's all up to Envy at the moment. And Envy able they to tie it up 7-7. Seven, seven. What happens in overtime? Talk me through this. You know, I think overtime uh, online, I think they just replay the map. I think that's how it works. Replay it? Yeah. So I'm down with that, replay. Clause. That was fun. Wow. Well, this is good. Look at that. Come, remember, it was 7-3. Proofy says, boys, yeah. we are not losing this. I'm about to drop 24 kills. <laughs> he just goes off. Yeah. You saw Gunjar finish with 21 of his own, and Rambo says, I'm not going to kill anything. I'm going to sneak by every guy I see. Only drops 13 kills in the game, but is caps. able to score, and yeah. he is able to bring. Guys, we're going to 30-second commercial break. When we come back, overtime will be loaded up as we go back at it on Warhawk for more Blitz. Don't be afraid to get pumped, my friend. All right, here we go back into action. TP on your screen. It's going to be Patty Cakes now after TP loses that first battle. He gets shut down. Nice defensive stand there from Merc and Gunjar. And we already see a cap from both squads as there is early aggression. Some defense being played. Complexity having to rotate back. There is a good defensive kill from Aches. Yeah, and you know, that was big right there because if they don't pick up Gunjar, he's going to be able to get another cap. And you see Gunjar, he's going to spawn on that right side. He's a very smart player. He's going to push this left because he knows complexity is going to push up on this tower. And, I mean, right there we saw a ton of action right at the start of the game pocket. But Gunjar is going to get taken out by Karma at tower. And, you know, complexity is looking to make a strong push on the Envy base. All right, Krim was dropped, but he has support. TP on the left, Karma on the right. Karma's going to go through the house. We got TP pressuring from Shaq. And it looks like TP will fall to Gunjar. Karma needs to take his time here to secure this capture. Yeah, you know, Karma's just going to try and slight in the house and just cause a distraction. But you see, oh, TP's going to be able oh. to kill. Oh, Karma with a nasty knife on Merc. And no, no, do not let Goon. that happen. Oh, man. Oh, Kunjar, Merc, Rambo oh, all dropped. Man. Three dead here for Envy. Karma has just one player to beat. He's going to spawn camp instead as his teammates go in. That is two straight caps as Complexity And they cannot is, get him out of there. He got a 3-1 lead out of that last play. And, I mean, that's the type of game-changing plays that Karma makes. I mean, we've seen it time and time again. It just through Black Ops 2 in now on Call of Duty Ghosts. I mean, he's such a dynamic player, such a, a ridiculous slayer. And, you know, he's also very underrated in his smarts and his just team play. You know, he's a very good communicator. That's one of the things that I've noticed you know, since we've started playing with when him. When he's winning. His communication is top notch. Yeah, when he's winning, you know, but <laughs> that'll be okay with us. And, I mean, it'll be fine. It'll be, it'll be good. Complexity's yeah. used to winning. No offense, Karna. I've seen you play. I've heard you. You just called out karma. A little bit. A little, little bit of bit. communication. Hey, I do what I see, man. I'll call yeah. it out. So 4-1, though. Lead here for complexity. And you're going to see some shots going down from karma as he's trying to make his way into the Envy base. Meanwhile, Envy was able to capture again. So it's just a two-point game. Karma, though, is trying to make it a three-pointer. If he can sneak past two more, gets one. Will he be able to sprint this one in? It looks like he's going to try and fight his way there, pulling out that Remington, cleaning up his own teammate, <laughs> saying, TP, this is my cap. I'm going to earn it. Yeah, you know, right there, that was a little bit of a miscommunication. You know, I, I saw him, you know, just kind of aim down there, and I was like, TP just killed a guy down there. I was like, I don't think... I don't think that's an enemy. Yeah, TP moved too much, and Karma doesn't like that. Right, I mean, he's, we he's tell him, we basically told him, you know, like, Karma, we want you to kill everything that moves, just not your teammates. So right there, I mean, he took a little bit of a, an exception to the rule. Krim going to walk in for number five. Up three now is complexity. We're going to switch through the screens. That's TP. 
Karma back on the middle streak. Going to challenge this player back. Broken tank. And it looks like Krim is going to be sneaking up the shack. Will he be able to go in for score number six? And it looks like Gunjar is going to be able to get a cap for Envy. So, you know, that's a nice little trade-off right there. And Envy is just pushing this left side of the map. But, I mean, Pocket, if you look at your scoreboard, Karma's 14 and 5 right now. Is that good? That's that's fairly good. And a kill on TP. Make it 15. We're going to switch over to the Envy squad as they're now down three. You just saw TP and friends go through. That kill will not be scored by Gunjar, so not another cap. We're going to jump on board with Proofy here. And Proofy, arguably one of the best players in the game. Would you say he's... Envy's best slayer right now. Oh, absolutely. I think, to yeah, I definitely think that, you know, with losing Karma, you pick up a different player in Gunjar. I think Proofy's going to need to just pick up that main slayer role. And uh, you see him, he loves this SC2010. You know, a lot of maps, you see players, they like to use the Remington as their main assault rifle. Proofy loves this SC2010. It's great at mid to close range, which I think is fits his play style. He's very aggressive, and, you know, his reaction time is so fast. Fuck it. And we're going to see the score, 4-2. Envy able to score one. Proofy trying to make it two. Big kills going down, but not big enough. Karma inside the base. And he is going to get the solid defense. It looks like in our first half here of the first round of overtime, 7-4 as Envy is able to get in. But Rambo answers back with a cap of his own. Yeah, and I mean, you know, just tons of action right there at the end. You see, I mean... It looks like Envy is, they're they are winning the kill feed battle, but, you know, they just got to put more pressure on the base, and it looks like Complex is going to get another oh. one there at the end, Pucket, and you can't give up those goals. That's right, and you just saw TV get taken down, but Ace was able to sneak in a three-cap lead at the half, a very high-scoring first round here in overtime. Karma dropping 16 and 9, but look at those caps from Krim 6, 8 and 9 in terms of KD. Five caps for Krim, including yeah. that first blood. Aches putting in three caps of his own. No TP caps there, which is surprising. Everyone from Complexity is putting in that effort. Yeah, and you know, it's just a, a total team effort. Like I was saying before, hey, I think oh. our team is a lot, I wouldn't say a lot, I, th I would say a lot more versatile now than it was before. I mean, everybody is able to do a little bit of everything now. But you see, Envy is going to pick up three kills right off the bat, and it's all up to Karma to defend that base for complexity. 18 and 9, I think he can handle it. Let's see what he does. There's number 19 looking for 20. And you're going to see Merc challenge. There goes Proofy. Down goes Goonchar. Everyone falling at the hands of their former teammate, Karma, just cleaning the house as he continues to push forward. Yeah, and I mean, he is just a man on a mission. And, you know, a lot of the times you see when a teammate, you know, they leave a team, there's a lot of just, there's not really bad blood, but, you know, the guys on Envy, they have a lot of pride in what they do, and they want to prove to Karma that he made a mistake for leaving. Yeah. Meanwhile, Karma says, boys, I am going to punish you for putting me through some pain <laughs> and not giving me that trophy I wanted in Columbus. We got aches on your screen, though, for complexity. They're up three rounds. Playing a little bit of defense, going to catch a player in transition as he's going to take out Ray, but Merck and friends answering back with two kills of their own. Aix is going to find all kinds of defense as he pushes towards the Envy base, and there he's taken down. Let's jump back on board with Envy and tell this comeback story. They're down two games so far, looking to yeah. steal game number three here in overtime, but right. currently down three caps. Yeah, you know what I would like to see out of Envy right now is that they're running two ARs. I think they need a lot more pressure on the complexity base. I would definitely say they need to switch one of those ARs, either Merck or Proofy, onto a sub. And I think it would probably be Merc. You know, Proofy has been one of the most dominant ARs all through Black Ops 2 and in Call of Duty Ghosts. And I think Merc is the one that you're really going to need to see switch to a sub. I mean, you see right now he's locking down the side of the map, but they only have two subs putting pressure on the base, and they really need more pressure on the complexity Well, earlier base. it was Merc who went through. So you're going to yeah. see the score just two-point differential. After Merc got that cap, he is playing very defensively. Also, you saw Gunjar trying to play D. Meanwhile, we got Rambo Ray. He has one goal when it comes to Bliss, and that is to score. There's number seven, just as Complexity goes through, unfortunately. So it will still be a two-point lead in favor of Complexity, but everyone's starting to push up Rambo halfway to another cap. Yeah, and, you know, right there they were able to trade a cap, and, you know, it looks like Ray is able to get a knife kill in the Complexity base, and, you know, TP is going to pick up a big two-piece right there, and it looks like Ray is just going to try and sneak around. This is what Ray does so well. He... He gets in your base, and you don't know where he is, but, you know, Karma, 
he he snuffs it out and he's shooting bodies today, Pucket. Yeah, we're going over to Karma. We gotta see this man from Complexity. Currently twenty six and twelve. Going more than double positive, and he is playing nothing but base defense for the moment. His teammates will continue to push forward, but Karma says, don't worry about any NV player. I know where they're coming from. I'll kill them before they get there. Yeah, and I mean, you know, this is, I think, what we were really missing from somebody on Blitz. You know, our Blitz game at Columbus was really weak, really weak. I mean, we won, I think, one Blitz the entire weekend. And I think what it really was is we didn't have any... But he really playing defense or just watching the cross and watching mid map. And you know, Damon is so talented with his AR and just great instincts of just where people are going to be. I mean, you see right there. I mean, that it. it 28 and 12, man. Yeah. It oh, my our... knifing dead bodies, shooting them in the face <laughs> once they're done. Karma's angry, and he is just showing off his skill, switching back and forth between that Remington and the MTAR. And when your defensive man is going to be pushing up at the opponent's base, you know you're playing with a lot of confidence. Envy feeling pretty good about this one, but it's still just a one-point differential as, or excuse me, as complexity is up that one point. TP won't get in. Karma back at the base playing D. Let's go back on board with Rambo here from Envy. I feel like he's going to be our player to watch. He's constantly sprinting forward for that cap. Yeah, and I mean right now with 50 seconds left, Envy is really going to need to get aggressive on the Complexity base. And I'd like to see Complexity get aggressive back. This is the mistake they made the last time. You know, they got a little bit, I wouldn't say lazy. They they kind of lamped in their base a little bit, turtled in their base. And, I mean, Envy was able to break in and get a cap. You see two kills going down from the Complexity squad on the Envy squad. And Envy's going to force, rotate back and play defense. And this is exactly what you want if you're a Complexity. But it looks like Proofy's going to try and get a cap. But Karma's able to shut that down. 26 seconds on the clock. Rambo. He's coming from his spawn, Gunjar on the far right, and it looks like this is going to be a long sprint to the complexity base. I'm switching through all the complexity players. You got Karma back at home working with Eggs. TP is pushed up, and you're going to see Grim challenging on the middle like Rambo is going to be able to get Can a he cap. get through two oh! players? No! I think that was Eggs watching over Karma, able to take out Ram. Oh, that's a it looked like Ray was going to get that. Yeah, we are going to take a look at it in your final kill cam. Karma wisely laying down on that blitz spawn. You have to kill him before you can go in. Just baiting himself. And Eggs is going to take care of business. They win by just one point. But they were in the lead from start to finish. 31 and 15 from Karma in overtime. Coming up huge. Also, Krim 6, you can't discount those five captures. No, I mean, you can't. He got them all in the first half of the game, but that 31 and 15, Puck, you know, when your AR player is going that positive, it's, he's shutting down one whole side of the map, and it makes it a lot easier for those sub players to pick up everything else, and there isn't much sneaking going in, around, you know? Absolutely. It's, it's hard to sneak when your sub players are filling those lanes and picking up all those players. It's hard to be sneaky, man. Can't. All right. Uh, well, we are going to a quick commercial break. In the meantime, I want you guys to get on Twitter. Send me your thoughts. Remember, at the end of the night, we are going to crown a scuff MVP for this showdown. Who from Envy is playing well? Who do you think is going to be the key player from Complexity? Currently, they are up three games to none. Coming up after this, what's our game mode? I believe it's going to be Domination on Strike Zone is going to be the next game mode. Ooh, Strike Zone, short-range party. We'll see you after this.